Hello and welcome to the Left to Right podcast. I'm your new host, James. I am joined by William, Vladdy, Daddy, Dylan, Marty, Austin, and Zane, of course, since he got kicked out of the host spot. And we're going to get right into our first topic, which is Pelosi announces that she's rerunning or she's running for re-election. Zane, I'll let you start. So I am very happy with this because I love Pelosi and because I love her stock trades. They make me hella dollar. So you know what? I'm going to like, I'm going to be grateful for this opportunity and hope that she does not run for party leadership. Nancy Pelosi is capitalist William, what's your thoughts? Okay, before I answer the question, I want to give a honorable tribute to Vaughn for not being here today. Yeah, well, he shouldn't be here. <laughs> well, I would like to. Okay, now I'm going to go to Nancy Pelosi. I am not happy because Nancy is like 80 years old and she should take care of her grandkids. Okay. Um, what about you, Dylan? I'm that she ran, though. Yeah, you're, you're right. She is running for uh, president of the nursing home. She she should, uh, I'm being honest here, she should probably be dead by now. Like, there's no life left in, left in that empty corpse of well, an she, old government position. Hold on, she's probably got another, like, th- three more election years to go. I say this because Dianne Feinstein's like 87, and I'm pretty sure Chuck Grassley's 87 too, and he's running for re-election. So... I mean, I don't it, think- it really it really makes you think how Nancy Pelosi is living longer than Hitler did when Hitler was clearly better than Nancy Pelosi. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about, about that one, Chief. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. She okay, my, no, no. Let me let me change ever. that. She lived Hitler longer to- than Mussolini. Okay, Vladimir, what's your thoughts? Uh, Mo- Mussolini, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mussolini got fucking executed. <laughs> He did? Uh, Lynn, Lynn, yeah, what's your thoughts on Pelosi? Mussolini died uh, with his cock in his hurt. mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Zane, That's what are a you fact. doing? Like an <laughs> okay. Was. Uh, Austin, what's your thoughts on Pelosi? Uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, I agree with uh, William. Let's go. Cool. And I'm a Democrat. She should be dead right now. I don't know. And I don't know how she isn't. But you know, Queen Elizabeth gave her the drugs that the British government is using to keep her alive. I don't I'm, I'm, think they're they, doing that. They they cut Betty White off. That's why she died. Yo, Austin, I have a question for you. No, Betty White saw into the future and she saw some shit in 2022 that made her check out. Okay, next topic. Se- or Supreme Court of the United States Justice. Stephen Breyer has announced his retirement. Biden pledges to appoint a black woman, and he will make this pick by the end of February. I think it's going to be Michelle Obama. What do you think, William? I really hope it's Michelle Obama. Like, yeah, that would be lit if it was Michelle. I think it's going to be Michelle, in all honesty. Either, I, I mean, that's the most logical answer, in my opinion. Yeah. Can, can I uh, respond? If, if Biden does this, I will 100% love him forever. Okay. If he puts Kamala Harris to the Supreme Court, hear me out here. Kamala <laughs> Harris is not doing the best job right now, as you can tell. If he puts her to the Supreme Court and picks a new VP, he's golden, honestly. Can he do that? He can't. I think he can do that. I'm pretty sure. He can. He's not take, going to. Yeah. If he, he does do that, I'll I'll give Biden my vote in 2024. You can't even you? vote. Yeah, you do not <laughs> age. Okay, don't talk. So here's the, so the thing is. People are like saying Kamala Harris is going to be the new pick, but like that's not going to happen. Like, you Wait, guys people are actually are saying that? that? Yeah. No, people are like, oh, it's going to be Kamala Harris. No. If you've seen the list, there's like Leandra Kruger, other people, but there's no Kamala Harris on it. Like, I don't understand. If anything, I think Leandra Kruger should be the choice. She's um on the California Supreme Court. She's great. She's very much uh, not as liberal as a as the other people on Biden's list. So I think yeah. that Biden should pick pick her. You know who I think they should go with, in all honesty? Out of here. <laughs> who should they go with? You think I know I think the best pick that they could make is going back in time and getting Ruth Bader Ginsburg back as Be- secretary based. or as <laughs> Based. Either her 
or maybe even Anthony Kennedy. Get him back. <laughs> Anthony, you know what? I like that idea. I like Anthony Kennedy a lot. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I say you bring him back. I mean, he might be how old is really he? Really old. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Let's check. He was Hold up. Let born in 1936. So he's getting <laughs> yeah, up there in age. He's Not 85 years old. <laughs> I think that's perfect. Biden's like 250. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, keep, keep, next topic. Arnold. Joe Manchin said that he's sub- open to supporting a Supreme Court pick that is more liberal than him. What do I'll, you think that means? How much uh, more I'll start with you, Vladdy. Yeah, what? Joe Manchin is open to supporting a more liberal Supreme Court pick. What's your thoughts yeah, on but, that, Lenny? Yeah, but how more... Uh, how, surprising. Wouldn't Joe Manchin vote on an AOC? Like... AOC no. for Supreme Court, low key though. <laughs> no, not at all. AOC always gets mentioned. I'm sorry. <laughs> she does. Yeah. No what we're talking about. <laughs> so here's the thing with yep. all this stuff about. Uh, Surprise, I'm coming from him. Zane, why is your eyes so red? I don't know. But with all this stuff with Joe Manchin, like, I honestly want to see who Biden appoints. Just to see what the battle in the Senate would be like. Would cinema support him or her? Yeah. It, it's going to be a her. Why did I say him? Would Mansion support her? I, I just mean, hope it's it's, it's 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 interesting. I can't I can't wait to see it. I mean, is Susan Collins or Lisa Murkowski or like any of these moderate uh-huh. Republicans going to support her? Like it's 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 going to be fun to watch as we see this go on throughout the next few weeks. I just want Kamala Harris so we can get a new VP. I will. I, <laughs> That first of all, it's going to be Jackson from DC, she's gonna get the nomination, and second of all, Joe Manchin will probably support her because I mean, Joe Manchin saying he'll support a more liberal candidate isn't saying anything because of I mean, it's not really saying anything, he's not very liberal, yeah, he's more conservative than anything. Okay, all right, um, Austin, what do you think? Uh, um, kind of going off what Marty said, the saying that this person is more liberal than Joe Manchin is it, is it really saying much? If anything, if he's talking about more liberal, it'll probably be like a moderate liberal rather than you know like a, a hardcore liberal. Like some uh, some of the other people. So I I, I, don't, right. I don't think we should be too worried yet. All right, and um, Dylan, what do you think? So Joe Manchin here, uh, really, he has a lot of power uh, in the Senate. He's the swing vote. Basically, he could potentially ruin this whole thing for the Democrats. He has ruined a lot of stuff for the Democrats, but yeah. he, he could completely ruin this whole Supreme Court nomination for them. I, you know, some people... They, they don't take his word serious enough because they don't realize just how much influence it carries right now. And a lot of people are saying, oh, he should switch to Republican. Well, if he switched to Republican, that power he had over every single member of the Senate is gone. Yeah. I mean, he votes with Biden many, most of the time. It's very unlikely he's going to switch parties anytime soon. He just it's does. Be- he votes with the Republicans sometimes to save his Senate seat in West Virginia, which I will support because that will just that just gives the extra again it gives the extra Senate seat to the Democrats, which I'm okay with. See, if if he's moderate here and there, at least we have the Senate at the end of the day, so that's fine. All right. With all that said, let's move on. So we need our, So this is the, the everything happening between russia and ukraine is crazy right now so let me just like give you the details and then i'll let everyone give their opinion so first the tensions are even more increased as biden sent military equipment and munitions to ukraine and is planning on sending a few troops as well um and then on top of that the u.s embassy got evacuated in kiev in the capital of ukraine so with all that said, all this war tension going on, Lennon, what do you think about it? Of course, you have to comment. Uh-huh. This. 
I don't think that Russia is going to invade. They just probably put troops on the border so they can get their way. Yeah, so. Because, like, if they were to invade, say, the Donetsk region, it would cost them a lot of money to maintain it. All right, all right. Uh, Dylan, what do you think? You know, this, this whole business with Ukraine is really none of our business. I mean, yeah. historically, it belongs to Russia. Um, it, it has since, what, the 1800s. It's Russia. It, a lot of them speak Russian. We could tell from the Crimea vote that a lot of them want to be a part of Russia. This is just pro- causing problems for everybody. It's causing problems for uh, the people of Ukraine who have to sit back and let their terrible government uh, bring them into a war that's not necessary because Ukraine is Russian. Uh, it's making trouble for us in the U.S. because Biden wants to act as the dictator of the world. Because it. it makes trouble for all of Europe. Because now suddenly you have people like Biden saying, oh, well, if you guys don't help out, you know, you're going to get invaded. That's what we're at right now. It's it's really is a disgrace how this is being handled. And Biden is aggravating. All right. Okay. Um, William, what do you think? Um, if Russia was going to get was going to invade Ukraine, they're very they did it in a very idiotic way. Why would you send troops there and then get every country involved? If you're going to invade Ukraine, you're going to get screwed over because you have like half of the country attack defending Ukraine right now. Yeah, it, it was very dumb execution yeah. on uh, Russia's fault, and uh, if and that's just a crap. <laughs> yeah, you get my point. All right, uh, Marty, what do you think? Um. Boris Johnson is a complete fucking idiot, and he's yeah. handling it like a fucking idiot. Uh, I that saw a speech that he gave. It's a fucking moron. Um, Have you seen Boris Johnson's haircut? He's so hot. Cut up. Boris Johnson is handling like an idiot. I don't. It's too soon. Biden really hasn't done shit about it. Um, except he's sending aid, so it seems like he's gonna get involved. But I don't even think that they're that Russia's gonna invade anymore. I feel like they were going to invade, and now everyone's getting involved. So I think they're gonna just back off soon. All right. Last but not least, what do you think, Austin? Uh, yeah, I think the way Russia handled this was pretty dumb on their part. I don't see them going pretty far because you know like uh, a lot of countries are siding with Ukraine so I see them kind of just blowing this thing over but hey if war does break out uh, then I guess we could call it World War 3 because that's probably was what it's going to become who wants to fake their age and go on this I mean I ain't got nothing better to do so Straight up, yeah. See, exactly. I ain't got nothing better to do. So, like, yeah, me and Zane will be why drafted. Not? The old good. I, mean, I turn eighteen. I, I turn eighteen in a couple years. So, oh, you're screwed, oh boy. You're gonna get drafted. <laughs> I hope I don't get drafted. <laughs> you have like four years left. You're I, gonna hope I, do. <laughs> I hope I do. I hope I do. Oh man, what's that. happening in Russia? I feel like. Here's the thing. The war hawk in me is like, oh, yeah, we want to absolutely take down Russia. That sounds fun, right? But, like, the moral side of me is like, I don't want to lose any more lives. You know? Like, you know what? It's not going to do it. I'm calling it ready. Because if they were going to do it, they were going to do it right off the bat. They would not be waiting for every country to join Ukraine's side. If they were going to invade Russia, they would have done it by now, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, they, they the could have invaded way back in November. If the Russian army wanted to, they could just blitzkrieg straight through the whole country. And now they have like only a couple yeah. weeks. They can support it's gonna be a lot harder now. It was very if they if their main idea was to invade Ukraine, they did it awfully, very idiotically. It was dumber than Hitler invading Russia. It was that dumb. 
All right. Um, did everyone get the, Did everyone get their say? Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. If you dig in rush for Stalingrad. Okay. Um. So let's move on. Uh, where are we? So here's a funny moment. So Biden had a press conference this week. Uh, oh, yeah. And Peter Ducci, um, Fox News reporter, he asked a question about inflation. And then Joe Biden said, this st- stupid son of a bitch, referring to Peter Ducci. Ducci what do you guys think about that? Who's going to start? Uh, who wants to start? I mean, I, mean, Biden, I agree with what Biden did. The communist starts. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I agree with what he said. I mean, I wasn't the most professional, but I agree. All right. Um, Dylan, what do you think? As much as I disagree with him, at least he's starting to form his own opinion here. I mean, but well, let's be real here. He's basically been doing whatever he's been told to do for the past like year now. It shows a little bit of independence. All right, uh, Marty, what do you think? Funny Biden. I wish he was funny more often. I mean, Peter Ducey seems like a nice guy. Biden called him and like apologized. I guess. Yeah, but... he did do that. Peter Ducey seems like a nice guy. He wants to move on from the incident, but, like, that's two hot mics from Biden in the exact same month. Oh, Um, yeah, he said that. uh, He said the stupid-ass question or whatever, which was, in fact, a stupid question, but this one seems a little bit more said. He was asking why he didn't attack Russia first or why he's not attacking Russia, which is a question. That is a stupid (laughs) question, so he's in the right there, but this one seems a little uncalled for. All right, uh, William, what do you think? Are we invading Russia? Um, This, I think the, whatever, Biden said it, I don't care because it's not a big deal. The Republicans are overreacting completely. Trump had four years and he was insulting reporter after another and the Republicans were laughing about it. They're enjoying it. Now look at the Republicans. They're getting all offended that Biden said this. Yet they were just okay with Trump saying John McCain wasn't a hero and, and all of his insensitive tweets. The, and the real snowflakes here are the Republicans were getting mad at Biden for saying stupid crap like this instead of getting mad at Trump for saying saying all of his insensitive comments for four years. That's the one part I'm mad about this whole situation. The rest I couldn't give a damn about. All right, well, and I mean, Austin. Oh, wait, Dylan, Snowflake, say what you said. You're, you're like having a mental breakdown over there. I can, I can tell you it wasn't uh, okay with Trump. It's not okay with Biden either. The reason that it was found okay with Trump was because uh, the reporters gave him a reason. Uh, unlike Biden, they they don't, the reporters don't really give Biden uh, any criticism whatsoever the way they did Trump. They treated Trump absolutely awfully. They make it very difficult for him to even get through a press conference. Uh, so, the uh, guy from Fox News who Biden insulted simply asked him a question and Biden went off on him because the question, he would actually have to explain something. You know, this, this is, it was okay with Trump, in my opinion, because, again, the media was out to get him. Uh, even towards the end, even Fox News was out to get him. With yeah. Biden, they're just you know, giving you know, him, they're giving you know. him tiny questions. They're saying, Okay, so what we do about this? And he can give some random response. He can, in his little mind, he can come up with three words, and they would so, act like he's a genius. So you think? So you think two wrongs make a right? Yeah, and this in this example, I do indeed. Hold on, can I explain <laughs> a little bit, just a little, bit, and then we'll just go to the next segment real quick. Oh wait, wait, wait I haven't said anything yet. Shapiro talk. <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, I think the Fox News media has done the same thing. And I have seen CNN reporters just ask Trump a simple question. He was saying, you're fake news, blah, 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 blah. Trump, didn't, this is not a regular occurrence on Biden and with Fox News. And Fox News has criticized Biden many times in the past, many times. And he, this is like, it's only been two encounters. With Trump, it was almost daily. And it was completely uncalled for for all of his, un, 
other insensitive comments he said, like saying John McCain was not a hero. His, John McCain wasn't a hero. I feel pig, something like that. That those were also insensitive comments, which the the which the crap, which the Fox News media didn't report on at all. But they're getting old mad now that Biden said something as dumb as this. Okay, yeah. we can. Right, Biden. Guys. Biden hasn't given the reporters a chance to say anything about it. And Trump he's has hid away for he's hidden away from them for months. He's been kept in his oh, little white Trump. house without going in front of anybody because he knows that he's a failure of a president. I don't he see knows. how this so the best this thing for him to do is for him to sit back and don't answer any questions, let the lackeys do it for him and make everything look like it's okay. No, you dumb son of a okay. All right, um Austin, what do you think about <laughs> what happened? Um... So I have I have two ways of thinking to this. On one, I think it's kind of funny, but on the other, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're the president. You can't be saying stuff like that. You gotta you have to be professional. And you're not just some guy. You're um you're the president of the United States. Right. And whether he disagreed with the question or not, uh was uh, we, you know, he, he he can disagree with the question, but like, he's got to be professional about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's time for Yay. the Fauci Hour. Gabba Bam. Doctor Fauci, give us vaccines. Gabba Ghoul. We are going to try to make this really quick. So first things first. Doctor Fauci said that COVID nineteen requirements work. William, thoughts? It, it depends, like, what type of requirements, like mask uh, mandates. I think those work better than no mask at all because, clearly, 2020 has less deaths than 2021, and 2021 had lo- had basically got – most states had basically got rid of them. So I think <laughs> clear proof that the mask mandates did a little bit to help. I'm not saying it's perfect. So, yeah, I think a little bit of restrictions uh, on COVID do help a little bit, but I don't think it's, like, the biggest thing ever. All right, uh, Lennon, what do you think? Um, I agree. Like, if he's referring to mask, then yeah. Okay, um, Dylan, what do you think? Well, with, with these COVID requirements, well, let's be real here. Masks won't save you. Uh, they, they won't even help prevent it. You know, you could wear a mask in your car, going to bed, to sleep, while you're in the shower, where, whatever, and you'd still end up finding a way to get COVID. Uh, mask mandates have been absolutely terrible and non-working in almost every single instance it's been used. Uh, and people, you can see that people are really getting sick of it at this point. You have the uh, truck driver thing in Canada and Italy, soon to be Australia. You have uh, protests which have been put down violently in Australia, in Austria, uh, Germany, uh, I Belgium, I think, are around there. Uh, but we've seen rising numbers even when all these mandate things are going on. And that's just simply because there is one way to stop yourself from getting at that, and that's to become a hermit. Lock your doors, close the windows, shut the blinds, and never go outside. That's the only way to not get COVID. It's it's an unfortunate, uh, it's an unfortunate fact, but it is one. I, I'm, can I say something real quick? It'll take fifteen. Yeah, 15. Sure. Um, I don't want to say. Is this just a giant opinion, or like, do you have any facts to back up your case? Yeah, like I ain't here. No I think I just heard a giant opinion. Like I only care about facts. But anyway, to, to answer your question, uh, I I'm talking about facts when it comes to Australia and the mask mandates not really working. Uh, it, you you can look it up. It's I'm pretty sure it's simple knowledge at this point. Uh, it, it, even something that CNN has admitted, which is pretty strange. All right, um, Austin, what do you think about what Fauci said about COVID-19 requirements working? You know, what, it, it, it really depends on, like, what kind of requirements he's talking about. 
Uh, Because, like, didn't he say, like, a couple weeks ago that the two COVID vaccines plus the booster doesn't uh, stop Omicron? Yes. Decepticon. This happened. No, I'm surprised there isn't an Autobot variant. Uh, all right, uh, Marty, Marty, what do you think? I don't give a shit what Dr. Fauci thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do, and if I want to wear a mask, I'll wear a mask. Cool, okay? So, I'm, so like, if, I don't care what he thinks. I don't so, know Dr. Fauci thinks. said <laughs> that Dr. Fauci said that an Omicron-specific vaccine may be unnecessary. He says this the day that Moderna begins their trials for an Omicron booster. Um, Austin, what do you think about that? Uh, uh, you caught me off guard. Sorry. Um, the message in the chat, I can see that. <laughs> He's messaging me. Bro, for real, though, I was drinking one today, and then it just came out like that. But anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, like uh, Miss Doctor Fauci is just a walking contradiction. Cause like like I said earlier, um, he said two weeks ago that the COVID nineteen vaccine plus the booster, um, doesn't work against Omicron, and now he's saying that uh, a special trial for an Omicron booster isn't necessary. He, he's just he's going back on what he said. Unless I read that wrong. Yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Um, okay. Marty, what do you think? Nah, bro, you that really wrong. Once again, I don't give a shit what Doctor Fauci thinks. Um, he, like, I don't, like, I don't even know if he can be right at this point. He's contradicted himself so many times. Like, he'll say something one day, and then two days later, he'll go back to when he says he can't even get his own facts straight. I would not take anything he says literally. All right, Dylan, what do you think? Uh, well, I, I think the three vaccine, whatever you call them, that came before have also been completely stupid again. I mean, they don't stop you from getting COVID. They, they are supposed to lessen the effects. I can understand that for people at risk and older people. But if you're just your regular, healthy individual age, like, 14 to like I don't know 50 you don't need any kind of vaccine because chances are even if especially if you got it before and you have that natural immunity built up you don't need any vaccine and can someone correct me if I'm wrong here the natural immunity doesn't last forever right it lasts for like three uh, the university of Michigan yeah, it does it, it, it yeah, potentially lasts six I think, years I don't think Many of the population has got COVID the last three to six months. So I don't know about the natural immun- immunity. And why is people talking about gay frogs in the chat? All right, um, right, let's move on. What? So oh. the final topic is Dr. Fauci said that he's confident that most states in the United States will reach the peak of Omicron in mid-February. And I just want to say this. He thought that we already hit the peak earlier, so he lied. Fauci I can, I lied I again. Can I oh my gosh. Gobble, no, Dr. Why would he lie to the American people? Can I answer this? Dr. No way Dr. Dr. Fauci lied. I have a, we need to start a petition. A petition? Crap. We need, we need to replace Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci. I don't trust Italians. I don't trust Italians, you know? They're very fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they always betray you. <laughs> Just like in the movies. Hey, Zane, do you have Omicron? No, I have asthma. Uh, I, I you know, when Dr. Fauci is talking to the Wear public guy, he, he's like the mafia don of the White House. Like, he's he okay. goes over to Biden and says, I'm about to make you an offer you can't refuse. I think Dr. Fauci is just a crappier version of Rasputin. When, when, right. when... When February comes, when February comes, and it's not the peak. He'll say, "Oh no, actually, it's March." Uh, and no, and then, gonna... and then it'll be, "Oh no, it's actually April." And then it'll be, "Oh no, it's actually May." And then it'll be, "Oh no, it's actually June." And then it'll be, "Oh no, it's 2038." 
<laughs> Dr. Jimmy Fauci Carter will still be alive. Is literally the American Rasputin. Biden is the American Tsar Nicholas II. Tsar Nicholas II's face. Yes, All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. See you next week.